while Starbucks had to shut down about 100 stores in Japan after the earthquake and tsunami hit. CEO Howard Schultz says the disaster hasn't been a huge economic setback for the company. Still, though, he said it hurts. Schultz spoke with Norm Perlstein, Bloomberg's chief content officer and chairman of Bloomberg Businessweek. You talked a lot about the importance of international, and I know one of the early markets that you went into is Japan, where you have quite a presence. Um, uh, has the earthquake uh, affected your operations there, and, and if so, in, in a meaningful way? Uh, it, it is meaningful. We've, we have over 900 stores in Japan. We've been there since 96. It's an extremely important market, not only for its size and profitability, but because of the emotional connection we have to the Japanese people. It was our first market outside of North America. Uh, the, the, in the days following the crisis, we lost about 100 stores. Uh, and then it, it, over time, in the days and weeks that followed, 10 stores were permanently uh, destroyed. We're back running in, this, in the stores that were not affected and we're down about 30%. Overall, the, the, the impact financially will be de minimis because of the size of Starbucks, but it is a significant issue for the company. Japan was Starbucks' first market outside of North America.